Okay, here we have question number 10 from October, November 2009, paper 4. Another question about sequences and number patterns and so It's very popular requests for these type of questions. Um, here we have rows of numbers. Okay, row 1 consists of number 1. And then row 2 is 3 plus 5, which is 8. And then 7 plus 9 plus 11. And then 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 and so on. Row 5 and 6 are blank. It says the rows above show sets of consecutive odd numbers and their totals. Complete row 5 and 6. So we can see that basically you're just continuing. The first row has the first um, odd number. The second row has the second and the third consecutive odd numbers added together. And then you've got the third row, the next three, and the fourth row, the next four. So the fifth row is going to be the next five consecutive odd numbers. So 19, next comes 21, plus 23, plus 25, plus 27, plus 29. And the sum of those, you can see that this is like, these are like the cube numbers. One cube, two cube, three cube, four cube. This should be five cube, it should be... 125 and we can check to see if we're correct so we've got I've got this new calculator which I'm gonna subscribe to eventually 21 plus 23 plus 25 plus 27 plus 29 and that gives us 125 see that's correct all right, that's like five cubed. And then you're going to have 31. 31 plus 33. Sorry, 31 is going to go over here. Need an extra space. You have 31 <clears throat> plus 33 plus 35 plus 37 plus 39 plus 41. And that should be the same as six cubed. Six cubed. Um, is it two one six? Let's have it. Six cubed. Six cubed. Two one six. That's right. Okay, so that's two hundred and sixteen, and we could confirm by adding these together. I'm pretty sure that's right. Okay, so that is the row five and six completed. Okay, so that's that's done now. Uh, what is the special name given to the numbers one eight twenty seven sixty four and so on? As I mentioned before, those are the cube numbers. That's what we recognize. Those are called the cube numbers. Okay. And then write down, in terms of n, how many consecutive odd numbers there are in row n. Okay, so how many numbers are there in row 1? 1. How many are in row 2? 2. In row 3? 3. How, in row 4? 4. In row 5? 5 and so on. So in, in, in row n, there's going to be n consecutive odd numbers. The total of these numbers is always the same as that number cubed. And cubed. So from pretty simple stuff. The first row, the total was one cubed. The second row, it was two cubed. The third row, three cubed, and so on. So the nth row is going to be n cubed. The first number in row n is given by n squared minus n plus 1. Show that this formula is true for row 4. Okay, for row 4, um, it says the first number is given by Okay, so row 4, all right, when n equals 4, you're going to have 4 squared minus 4 plus 1, which is 16 minus 4 plus 1, which is going to give you 12 plus 1, which is? So it has 12 plus 1, which is 13. Okay, so the first number in row n, so the first number in row 4 is 13. Okay, so it works. It tells you the first number in that row. So that means um, we've shown that that's true, okay? Okay, so that's fine. All right. So that's um, questions 10, parts A, B, C, and D. Okay. Now, let's go on to the next question. So the total of row 3 is 27, and this can be calculated by 3 times 7 plus 2 plus, plus 4. And the total of row 4 is 64, and this can be calculated by 4 times 13 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6. The total of row 7 is 3, 4. 3, show how this can be deduced in the same way. Okay, so what we have to do here is actually look at the the rows. So we can see that the, the total of row 3 is 27. It's 3 times 7 plus 2 plus 4. 
Okay, so the first number in row 3 is 7. Okay, the first number in row 3 is 7. And it says the total of row 3 is 27. Okay, um, so you've got 3 times 7. So that's the number of the row. What we should really do is go back to that. I'm just going to pause for a second. Please. So now uh, the total of row 3 is 27. The total in row 3 is 27. Okay, this can be calculated by 3 times 7 plus 2 plus 4. Okay, 3 times 7 plus 2 plus 4. Now, if you look at row 3, the number 3 is the f is basically the number of the row. Okay, so that's what that 3 is here. And 7 is the first number in that row. Okay, so that's, a, that's the row number, and this is the first number in that particular row. And row 4, 4 is the row number, and 13 is the first number in that row. So it says the total of row 7 is 343. Three. Show this how, can be, how this can be calculated. So the first step would be to say 7 times, and we want to know what the first number in row 7 is going to be. Now we know that the last number in row 6 was 41, so the first number in row 7 must be 43. Okay, we could work it out even using this formula, okay, which would be 49 minus 7, which is 42, plus 1, which is 43. But we can see that it's going to be the next number after row 6 is 43. So we can see it's going to be 7 times 43. And then plus, and now you can see for row 3, you've got the next two consecutive even numbers added together. The sum of the, of the first two consecutive um, even numbers. For row 4, it's the sum of the first three consecutive even numbers. So for row, row 7, it's going to be plus 2, plus 4, plus 6, plus 8, plus 10, plus 12. It's going to be the first six consecutive even numbers. You're going to have 7 times 43. Then you're going to add, okay, that's this part. Then you're going to add 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12. The next six, the first six consecutive even numbers. Okay, for row 3, it's the first two consecutive even numbers. For row 4, it's some of the first three consecutive even numbers. For row 7, you're going to have the sum of the first six consecutive even numbers. Okay, so let me just take this. Let me just try and take this. And put it on the other side. I have to repeat myself. Okay, so we had to look back at this table here to get the idea of what we're doing. Oops. Let me see that didn't copy. Sorry about that. Copy and paste. Okay. So we can see that 7 times 43 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12. Now we've got to show that that's equal to 343. Three. Let's see if it works. So we got Put it over here. We've got 7 times 43. Okay, then plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 and plus 12. It gives us 343 as required. Okay, as required, 343. Okay, that's what we had to show. Okay, so that's equal to 343, and that's done. Okay, then it says the total for the for the first n even numbers is n times n plus one. Write down the formula for the first n minus one even numbers. So the sum of the first n even numbers is n times n plus one. We're going to write down the formula for the total of the first n minus one even numbers. If it said find the if it said write, find the total of the first four even numbers, you would put instead of n, four. If it said find the total of the first 60 even numbers, you'd put instead of n, 60. Okay, so when n equals four, that's the sum of the first four even numbers. When n equals 60, that's the sum of the first 60 even numbers. They want the sum of the first n minus one even numbers. So when you wanted to find four, you replace the n with four. When you wanted to find the sum of the first 60, you replace the n with 60. Now what we have to do is replace the n by n minus 1. So we're going to replace n by n minus 1. So we're going to have n minus 1. Okay, that's in place of the n. Times 
and you're going to replace this n with n minus 1. You're going to have n minus 1 plus 1. You'll end up with n minus 1 times n, which is like n times n minus 1. So it's n times n minus 1 is a total of the first n even numbers. It says use the results for part d, e, and f to show clearly that the total of the numbers in row n gives your answer to part c2. Okay, so now let's see. Parts D, E, and F. Okay, I'm going to just pause and bring the answers to parts D, E, and F here so we can see them. Okay, so G says use the results in part D, E, and F um, to show clearly that um, the number, the total of the numbers in row N gives you your answer to part C, part C2. Okay, so this is like um, F, and this is like D, and this is like E. Okay, those are the parts D and F. Okay, so basically we want to find the total in the row N. Okay, so as we mentioned, the total in the row 4 was given by 4 times 13, which is the number of the row. Okay, this is the number of the row. And this is the first entry in that row. So the number of row N is N. And the first entry in row N is given by this formula, N squared minus n plus 1. Okay, so that's 4 times 13. Then you've got plus, we've got the sum of the first n even numbers. Here we've got the sum of the first, see this is the sum of, if it was the first, if it was row 4, we're looking for the sum of the first 3 even numbers. In row 7 it was the sum of the first 6 even numbers. So it's always 1 less than the number of the row, which is exactly what we found in here. Um, in this question, this was the sum of the first n minus 1. So we want the sum of the first n minus 1 even numbers, which we found was n times n minus 1. That's what we actually got when we replaced the n with n minus 1. So that's what we need. We need to add to that n times n minus 1. Okay? So we need to now simplify this and see what happens. We're going to n times n squared, which is n cubed, minus n squared, plus n. Then you've got plus n squared, and you've got minus n. You see what happens? You've got n cubed, and you've got minus n squared plus n squared disappears, plus n minus n disappears. You're left with n cubed, which is the answer in C part 2. n cubed. Okay, so we've proved that we get the same thing. Okay, so that's how you deal with this question. Okay, it's not actually as difficult as it seems. Thank you for paying. For paying.